Uh, my name is Xavier Nuez and welcome to the Glam Bug series, one of my photographic projects. It took many, many years before I found my voice. The, gl the uh, Glam Bugs and the Alleys and Ruins series <clears throat> started around the uh, same time. A lot of the reason that these bodies of work exist are related to the problems I have with my voice, actually. I found that I needed to get away from people a lot, and, and so that's how the Alleys and Ruins series started. I would just walk down a dark alley looking for um, kind of peace and quiet with my gear, of course. When I started shooting, I would photograph, um, you know, everything. I would say it took me about uh, 15 years before I finally started to, before my work started to gel, before I f started finding a direction. The, the bugs are related to the, uh, to the Alley series in that in both of the bodies of work, I try to dignify what's been rejected. I've had um, social anxiety on and off, and that's why I found that I ended up creating this work. Like I said, I've never been homeless, but there was a period where I was very worried about it. This series, once I figured out what I was doing, uh, the dioramas became really important. So, so no longer was I looking for bugs that were just, you know, I had built very, very simple sets for early bugs and lit them up in a, you know, very simple ways. And I love building these little sets and, and creating little tiny shafts of light. Um, and all of it to glorify a little tiny <laughs> insect. Because the series is not really about insects, it's about people. Um, just like the Alleys and Ruins series is not about abandoned buildings, it's more about the, the people that populated them. Or, you know, it's got to start from the bottom. Each time it, it's sort of growing and you don't really know what's happening, but it, you are heading in a direction. And eventually, uh, years later, you can stop and look back and go, you know, oh my God, I figured something out. <laughs> Ultimately, it's, um, you know, there's a happy ending because it was the thing that I was most afraid of and it really, was really the catalyst to what's become a, a successful art career.